right, so the expo's in eight days, and we are not done yet. So we've got a lot of work to do. Um, we're upgrading from the uh, lead acid battery we had before to one of these batteries we got from Hobby King. These batteries are actually for a future project that's upcoming, but we might as well use them for the exoskeleton. Now the only tricky part is these batteries are actually 22.2 volts, and the system was designed for 12 volts. Luckily, all the components seem to be rated to up to 24 volts. The pump runs a bit faster, which means it's going to get a bit hotter. So we're actually going to add a uh, cooling module to it. And a while ago, I grabbed this out of uh, e-waste, and it is this awesome fan pack, and it's actually probably a bit more powerful than we really need. So at 22.2 volts, it's absolutely ridiculous. So anyways, we're going to have to use a buck boost converter to drop the voltage of the battery pack down to 12 or maybe even 6 volts because honestly it's like a leaf blower, that's how powerful it is. We're actually going to mount it right above the pump and we're going to cool all the electronics down here and hopefully that means everything will be running quite nicely. And the other benefit of using this battery pack is at 22.2 volts, it's going to basically supercharge the compressor and we're going to be able to fill up the tank way faster than before. So, right now we're just making a bracket to actually hold this in place, and then we got to get back to working on the shoulders, and again, working on the fit for the actual tactical vest. So, let's get to it. the EXO and actually use some um, solenoid valves to control the leg cylinders and we're trying to figure out a good place to put them and we found a spot that seems to work pretty good basically nestled right in behind the tank like so so the one cylinder is actually just a release valve to relieve the pressure in the legs and the other cylinder will take care of um, providing pressure to the legs which then allows me to pick up the car and by the way we're actually we're picking up a DeLorean at the GTA Expo so that's gonna be a pretty cool photo op but as you can see um, basically pressure will come in from the tank over here and then out to the legs down here and it'll be controlled by a switch on my hand and we're just gonna mount these guys right in there <laughs> working on the fit issue of the exoskeleton and what we come up with was adding actual straps that kind of go through the tactical vest and then connect back down to the hip module and this way it kind of pulls the vest down and kind of acts like a backpack strap and now it's not choking me anymore from the front. So we've just clamped them on for now but it seems to work pretty good so we're going to install them permanently and now the exo is quite a bit more comfortable to wear.
pretty comfortable. All right, so we've got all the straps added now, and it's gotten a lot more comfortable. Again, it's not choking me anymore. I can fit my hand down the collar, and yeah, basically feels like a a good backpack now with a full like uh, chest support instead of just straps. So it's a lot more comfortable because of that. So as you can see, we have the straps going down to the side, which kind of pull down like the backpack strap. And then we also added a clip on the top, so now we're not just relying on the Velcro, it's actually permanently attached. And same with the side, uh, we can clip her in so it's nice and tight. And yeah, it feels good. Alright, so next EXO update, we'll work on the electronics so we can actually control the Max and the legs. Uh, don't forget to check out our website, thehacksmith.ca. We actually have a calendar of upcoming videos so you guys can stay on top of what's coming out on the channel and when. So thanks again for watching, and if you're in Toronto this weekend, come see us at the uh, GTA Expo. Thanks for watching.